This is our project on mussels. What are mussels? Mussels are freshwater bivalves and they are one kind of freshwater snails. These bivalves live in freshwater as opposed to salt water, which is the main habitat type for bivalves. The majority of the species live in the sea, but a number of different families live in freshwater. Triple bottom line. Mussel farming could potentially develop in coastal areas, thereby creating new jobs and increasing national budget revenue. In 2015, fishing provided employment to 7,359 people and 1,033 people were employed in marine aquaculture. Mussels are hugely important to marine ecosystems because they increase biodiversity by acting as ecosystem engineers. The reefs they form create habitats for other ocean wildlife to colonize and use, such as barnacles and seaweed. They also provide nursery grounds for fish. Freshwater mussels have been and continue to be a major economic resource, first in the button industry and now in the cultured pearl industry. Mussels from North America are extremely important to the pearl industry in Asia. Here are some facts about mussels starting with laws and protection choices. No live mussels may be collected in Minnesota. Currently, with a fishing license, a person may possess up to 24 whole or 48 half shells of dead mussels. However, it is illegal to collect state listed species. Since many common species look like listed species, it's best to leave mussels where you find them. The economic values and aspects of mussels and their habitat. Mussels are considered to be ecosystem engineers because of a modified aquatic habitat making it more suitable for themselves and other organisms. They also clean the water they live in by removing phytoplankton and bacteria and fungi that are attached in the non-living particles they have removed from the water. Mussels effects on the environment and the environment's effect on mussels. Mussels are a good species to have in a stream or a body of water as they are a filter system to get food out and return clean water back. How specific economic factors cause shifts in supply and demand to support mussels and the cost of saving them. Freshwater mussels were once an important natural resource for Native Americans, particularly the mound building tribes in the Midwest. The human need for water is now the biggest danger to mussels. Habitat destruction, fragmentation for dams, and more recently an intense drought in the southern plains have all contributed to the destruction of mussel beds. The cultural beliefs and culture practices that are hurting mussels. Mussels once played an important role in the cultural history of prehistoric and recent native people of Ohio and Mississippi River basins. They were used as food and the shells were used for ornamentation, tools, and as a commodity for trade. Indian shells, mindens, the piles of shells that Native Americans have left behind extend for miles along sites of the old villages and encampments along the rivers. How, however, using them for food can cause problems as the number of live mussels decreases. How humans can improve the habitat of mussels and how we can influence its social behavior for their benefit. One way to help mussels is reduce runoff. By doing that, we can plant a native vegetation that helps stabilize the shoreline and prevent erosion. Fish with glochidia attached to their gills should be released to help mussels spread. Eight species of mussels have gone extinct. 70% of North American's freshwater mussels are already extinct or endangered. 90% of mussel population collapsed in 2016 and numbers are still dwindling down. Steps to move forward. Step one, stop littering. Exposure to toxic chemicals and trash hurts freshwater ecosystems which in turn hurts mussels. Step two, to prevent water pollution, low or sweep fertilizer back onto the grass if it gets onto paved areas and mulch or compost grass in yard waste. Step three, ways we can prevent pollution runoff are to cut down use of fertilizers, pesticides, and herbicides, and wash your car at a commercial car wash rather than in the street or on your driveway. Step four, be aware of the mark you leave in this world because it will affect future generations. Thanks! We hope that you take this information and do what you can to help save mussels.